If you would have watched my uh, video from last week, you would have seen that I've done an unboxing for the Innovation Launch Controller. And today what I wanted to do is just uh, do a quick overview of how you set it up and how you use it and give you my personal opinion. Right, so I've got my little camera here, which I will be able to do a close-up on the launch control, and this will show you how I use it. So I just set this up if I can. It's going to work. Now, it's actually very, very good. Uh, full on, I'm going to focus. Right. My eyes are open with it. Go. Here you go. Oh, recording. <coughs> Great. So we've got some recording here. So um, the way you set it up is you actually have, um, you take a piece of paper like that, write down the list of things you want the buttons to be and once you've done this you have your little plan well you go to the website which is called uh, moment, which is called midi 2 lr so i will post down the the links down down there so you can go there straight away and uh, once you've done this you just have to set it up. So it's very, very simple. Right, so you will have uh, something like that. And uh, what you want to do here is set up each one of them. So for example, me, uh, I've set up uh, exposure, highlight, shadows, white balance, tent. I need to put something, vignetting the A's. I've got the lens auto, so that will uh, kind of straight the line straight away. Uh, crop, uh, second screen, so if I need to bring on second screen, virtual copy, comparison, uh, five star, which I will move to something else because I don't use it, library develop, I've got uh, be previous picture, next picture, zoom in, zoom out. I mean, this is set up like I wanted to set it up, you know. Um, th that's the thing is you can really personalize it to what you want. So to do this, it's very simple. When you open Lightroom, this will automatically pop up the MIDI 2 LR uh, thing here. And what you will want to do is just press on one of the buttons here. So for example, if I click on Lens Auto here, it will automatically bring me uh, the, the button here. And what it will do, so if I use, uh, if I click on that one, which is the one I don't use, up, it shows it as unmapped. So this means that I've got to uh, configure it. So by pressing here, you can then choose what you want. So uh, as you can see in red is what I've already used, uh, but you've got all the different settings. There is some stuff which I don't really get, which like keyboard shortcut for user, or uh, there is other things which I didn't really get here like profiles different profiles so i don't know how this works but that could be quite handy so it could be maybe some preset or some uh plugin uh to uh, to develop the pictures so that that is something to look and you pretty much go on from one to the other and that's why it's important to have a plan so you don't forget which one is which and if you do uh, like i do you know you print it up and uh, you can put on each one uh, which you wanted to use. So for example, my here, as you can see, I have exposure, highlight, shadow, and so on, so on. Now, using it, it's very, very simple. So let me just show you on one picture. Okay, so let's take this picture, for example, here. Uh, so first thing you want to do, obviously, is uh, well, I'm going to move the exposure a little. Up and down, I can move the highlights up and down. And as you can see, it's very, very responsive. Shadows, same, up and down. One thing I love is this. Up, I click on that. Up, it will stretch. Before uh, I add this, before I press on that button, I have to go down, uh, click auto. You know, it, it takes much more time here. I need to crop while I press this, which is number two. Cropping, enter, done. Move on, okay? And this is really good if you can work in batch. And as I say, you know, you will use it and personalize it like you like, you know, like you want to do it. Uh, I, I, th I really think it's a great tool. I think for the price you're paying, it can really speed up your workflow and that is just so valuable, you know. 
uh, the time you can, you know, the less time you can spend on the computer personally is best. So, so this is as simple as this to use it, to set it up and uh, to personalize it. So if you have any questions, post them down below. Um, I don't think I'll be making another review about this. I think it's very good. I do recommend it. I think for 54 euro, which I paid, you can go wrong, you know, and why not use it for another thing? You know, you may move on from Lightroom or from another software. You may want to use it for other things. So that it might be possible. I'm not sure, but I know that for Lightroom, it works extremely well and uh, I definitely recommend it. Um, that is pretty much it. So if you have any questions, post them down below uh, and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers. See ya.